to flex towards the right side. So I'm intentionally moving it towards the left in order to relax. So I've been feeling super tired today and well not super tired, tired is the wrong word. I don't feel tired but I feel super sore. So I don't want to really push the envelope by doing a bunch of intense stuff even though there is like some uh, something in my like blood that always says hey you need to do something intense. But um, I'm taking a more, I guess, sustainable approach today, so to speak, and then focusing on a lot of mobility stuff. Um, I'll probably throw in some abs. The abs might be relatively intense compared to the rest of the workout, but the rest of the workout may not necessarily be intense from a cardiovascular perspective or from like the amount of weight being used. Uh, but that being said, it is going to tax me in a way that Regu uh, certain workouts don't. Until you do something like this, you will... No, go for it. Until uh, uh, you do something like this... Um, what's up, man? <laughs> um, <laughs> how's it going? How are you doing, buddy? Good, good. What, are you using this? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm using it. Can you move? Can you? <laughs> what are you doing? Arms. Arms. Uh, what do hey, you do? I'm doing mobi mobility. 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 <laughs> uh, how long? Uh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes? One five. I know one five. Yeah, no, I'm not five. Racist? Racist? <laughs> no, it's just. Me. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so until you do some of the mobility stuff, you won't really get how uh, taxing some of this stuff is even though it's like with lightweight. Um, if you're someone who's been doing heavy stuff for a lot of time and never really focused on mobility, you will notice a lot of difference from having done these things. And it'll translate into better lifts. At least personally, I feel a lot more comfortable doing uh, heavy lifts after doing mobility stuff than uh, when I was just doing uh, regular powerlifting stuff. Anyway, for me, my hips are really tight, so I'm going to start off with like this giant set for uh, hip and posterior chain stretching slash opening up. Uh, I'm using the cable machine, but like in the previous videos, I would use just one handle to hold the thing. Uh, this time, I'm evenly distributing the weight between each handle, and uh, I've already done one set. And what I've noticed is it feels a lot better to, uh, when the weight's evenly distributed between both hands uh, as opposed to when you're holding the weight with uh, the same weight, the same handle with both hands. It seems like there is an inclination for the stronger hand to kind of take over the load, which then doesn't, uh, it still stretches you out, but I still think it stretches you out in an uh, unbalanced way. Uh, so yeah, to get more, even more symmetry, even more equivalence of feeling, I'm uh, using individual loads. Anyway, I'm doing, starting off with cable good mornings. Keeping my chest out and trying to keep my head in line with the spine and then slowly lean forward and I'm trying to make sure every bit of the shoulder is in place and what I mean by that is if certain muscles are tight or you have certain imbalances you'll notice when you're getting into the stretch position your neck will start getting pulled a certain way or your traps will start getting pulled a certain way or they'll start getting engaged even though they have no reason to be. Uh, that's your, like, I guess, subconscious body trying to stay the unbalanced way. And you have to 
almost consciously override it. One of the cues that you can give yourself in order to relax these muscles, so like let's say you feel like something is tight, very, very often one of the ways this turns up on the body is like you'll start grimacing like uh. So one of the ways you can turn that off is relax your face and you'll notice that when you relax your face, kind of almost automatically some other muscles in the chain will uh, start relaxing. Every time you grimace, notice that you're grimacing and then stop doing that. You can also play around with how you're grabbing the handles. I like to extend it all the way to the end of my, or the tips of my fingers, and then slowly try to sink forward in this position. I'm trying to relax my abs, otherwise they'll start cramping. And I'm not, trying not to crunch. Don't try to crunch. Instead, let the weight pull you forward. And try to externally rotate the ankles. And like, even though it seems like I'm holding the position, I feel like I'm slowly, like ever so slightly inching forward with every second that I spend in this position. And then once I hit sort of a threshold, I come back up. See, just there I noticed that I was like crunching and I kind of caught myself and I made sure my head was in line with my spine. After doing five reps of that, I'm changing the movement to having one leg forward and then the other leg bent. What this does is the bent leg, the IT band glute area gets stretched and then your extended leg you're able to focus on one hamstring at a time. Usually, again, what I used to do was hold one handle, but now I'm distributing the weight evenly. And what I've noticed is uh, I'm actually able to connect a lot better with the areas that I need loosened, as opposed to when it was just one handle. Uh, the, it would almost pull me in a way that uh, I couldn't maintain balance. Today just mobility. Today bus mobility. Ah, thank you. Ah. Okay. At the bottom, I'm really trying to hold it. And the reason I hold the bottom for a really long time is, so right, like right here, the tension is on my back. And then 
as I lean forward and bring my head in line with my, uh, I guess, shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when my head is in line with my shoulders, the tension is now moved more from the lower back to the upper back and into the shoulders. And that seems to be at least my area of tightness. And so when I get there, I'm mentally like trying to connect with it, like where that tightness is. And then I'm consciously trying to relax it. And I'm noticing any tendencies that I have. So right now, when my right side is being stretched, my neck has a tendency to flex towards the right side. So I'm intentionally moving it towards the left in order to relax or stretch the trap area, which allows me to get a slightly deeper stretch. You will only feel these things if you explore your body. And explore your body means don't do the movement just to, uh, just to do the movement. And even if it looks correct, there is a lot more going on. Like you need to connect with what is going on and how your body is being utilized to perform the movement. for about five each side for this one too and even like similar to weight training exercises you're going to notice that one side is uh, stronger or tighter than the other side and so you know imagine how that plays out uh, during heavy lifts like if your right side is tighter than your left and it's caving in while you're squatting, well, you could probably get a lot more weight up if you're able to even that out. So while mobility and stretching might look like a bunch of hippie shit, uh, there's actually a lot of benefit to doing all this crap. Am I still in the frame or? Yeah, perfect. All right. Thanks.
so the so the previous two movements targeted the side and the back and then to finish it off I'm hitting the front with the hip flexor stretch so uh, I'm doing the ATG split squat shifting the weight into the front knee and keeping the back leg straight and extended trying to sink down into the hip to create a stretch in the hip flexor and then push back I've noticed that doing that chest open, head up thing uh, exaggerates the hip flexor stretch. Um, but yeah, just a little cue that I give myself might be helpful to someone who wants to try it out. But yeah, so hit it from the side, hit it from the front, hit it from the back. And I just realized that sounded a little innuendo-ish. But um, doing that, like my hips feel extremely open. There's still a lot of tightness. But yeah, try that giant set out. It'll, your hips will feel amazing after. So for abs, I'm doing side bends. Uh, so on the Roman chair, uh, it's a mixture of getting like the rectus abdominis and the sides. Four each side. I might do one more set of that. That was, that was my second set. It's starting to get, you know, there's something about doing mobility exercises that doesn't get you exhausted like normal, but gets you exhausted in a completely different way. I think there's something about unwinding the body the posi like positions that your body are so used to being in that when you start releasing it something starts happening
Did something different. I'm not sure what yet. Uh, I'm just gonna do some full stretch sit ups. That's it for today's workout. I don't think, like the whole reason I feel under recovered is probably because I'm doing way too much shit and not resting or sleeping enough. So yeah, I'm calling it quits. No, no, not quits, quits, wrong word. Calling it a day. I did a lot of stuff today. Now go, time to go home, eat something and have fun editing, watching TV. Stuff like that. All right, that's it for today's workout. See you in today's, or see you in tomorrow's video. Okay, Rishi, teach me how to move. Oh, side. Okay, side. So, side pose. So, first, like one of the things, so a couple of things you're showing is your hamstring, your, uh, depending on if you're doing like this or like this tricep or bicep, and then the other one is chest. So, and also from the side, as much as possible, you want to uh, give that illusion of a low, like, trim waist. So, first thing you want to do is try to press this leg against the back leg. What that does is push the hamstrings just a little bit. Oh, that's, that's it. That's one. Then, with this hand, you're doing this. But with the left hand, you're applying pressure down. Like, you're applying, like, you're doing a curl so that there's resistance on your bicep. And then at the same time, because you're applying this, your, your chest will extend like so. And then you'll see like some people do this just to get a pump. And then. Yeah. Good? Yeah. One more thing. So I try some. Ah, so a similar thing? And then with the back hand, you're pulling a tricep down. So 
Uh, triceps. Regularly from four months. And I joined this.